Welcome back to the Sunday Sports Frenzy. Three top three finishes at Williams Grove this year. A number that's been hanging over the Sprint Car Hall of Fame driver for nearly a year finally checks off his 100th win at the Grove. Lance DeWeese is the only driver to reach triple digits at the Grove. He collects his 100th Friday night in dominating fashion, jetting to the lead after starting fourth, leading all 25 laps. 29 years in the making, DeWeese's first win at the track came back in 1992. To kick off the week on Tuesday, Logan Shuhart chomps back into victory lane for his third win of the season, second with the Outlaws. That's the Sharks' 25th career Outlaw win, just five wins off of Bobby Allen. Keep your fenders on. The Outlaw late models make a swing to Port Royal for the Billy Vasic Memorial. Chris Madden takes Friday. Trouble on the first lap as Matt Cosner hits the inside wall and collects Donald Lingo just past the halfway point. If you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing as Madden goes wheel to wheel with Brandon Overton as they battle hard for the lead. Overton brings out the caution. On the restart, York's Rick Eckert challenges Madden. Madden sweeps the weekend at port. You know, one lane rubber racing is very important to get the position when you can. Ryan Smith on the pole for the 410s. Leaders run into a little trouble in lab traffic trying to pass. Mike and Logan Wagner get Smith on the inside. Mike holds off Logan for his 13th career victory at the Speed Palace. I'm just going to bide my time here, and um, as soon as he moved up a little bit, then I got my nose in there. And yeah, when I got to the lap cars, unless they was a lot slower than me, I wasn't going to move up. I was just staying on the bottom, getting a good drive, just hitting my marks the last five laps. Chase Dietz caps off an exciting finish at Lincoln for his first win in the Trone 39, and Anthony Macri wins at West Virginia Motor Speedway. It's all hands on deck for one team who wouldn't be able to compete without the dedication of their crew and sponsors. A race team can't run without all of its parts, and it's more than just a motor or a shock. It's the people that make it all happen. The crew, the driver, and the sponsors. That keeps the 69 running. Well, without my crew, I wouldn't be racing. And after a 60 to 70 hour work week. Everything that we work hard for is like for racing. It's just like a way of life. It's just what we did forever. Something Tim Glatfelter fell in love with at a very young age. His dad taking him to a racing show when he was four. And sure enough, when Tim turned five, he got his first race car. There was no place I'd rather be but in the race shop with my dad. And being able to share his first 410 win with his dad back in 2008. It's now expanded into an even bigger family with all of his crew right by his side. Working together, sticking together, and even making it a family trip to the car wash after a late night at the track. With everyone's help just 15 minutes from the time they pull in to the time they leave as a family and enjoy it. And uh, I mean, we take it serious when we're at the track. We work hard, we want to win. I mean, that's why we go every week. But uh, we know a lot of nights we're not going to win. So uh, we still try to enjoy the nights we don't win, but we always try to get better the next week then too. With being a lower income team, they keep a strict motor program that allows them 30 to 40 races a year, mostly at Lincoln, where Tim has two 410 wins. Just keep on working, see if we can't get it another win here soon.